In the episode number 112 of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about the new Noctua fan grills, Intel releases a new graphics card driver, EK Waterblock has a new monoblock for the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Hero motherboard and Acer will start making consumer grade graphics cards. We start with Noctua, which has announced the NAFG1. These are just metallic fan grills that use an offset pushpin mounting system. These grills are available in no less than 9 dimensions 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 92, 120, 140, and 200 mm. The purpose of these fan grills is to protect yourself from hitting the fan impellers. The offset pushpin mounting system is a good idea as many of these fan grills when installed directly on the fan frame will create wind noise and even interfere with the airflow of the fan. Having the grill at an offset will eliminate or at least mitigate those issues while allowing the grill to protect the fan. Or the user. The pushpin mounting system is also tool-less and is compatible with many Noctua fans, if not with many other fans as well. In terms of pricing, from 40 to 92 mm, the grills have the same 12.90 US dollars price tag for a pack of two, or 19.90 US dollars for a pack of five grills. While the 120 and 140 mm grills are priced at 14.90 US dollars for a pack of two and 24.90 US dollars for a pack of five, with the largest grill at 200 mm priced at 19.90 US dollars for two pieces or 29.90 US dollars for a pack of five pieces. Next, Intel has released a new graphics card driver, Noad version 101. 4091. This new driver release is the launch driver for the 13th generation Intel Core mobile processors with the Intel Iris XE and UHD graphics, codenamed Raptor Lake P. Other improvements with this driver include the Intel Arc controller, which now supports a standalone desktop mode. In terms of fixed issues, there are some. With Warhammer 4000 Dark Tide, while running in DirectX 12 mode, it might experience application crashes during character selection. Need for Speed Unbound, while also running in DirectX 12 mode, may exhibit screen space color corruption during gameplay. Total War Warhammer 3, while in DirectX 12 mode, may exhibit an intermittent application crash when launching the game. And finally, Battlefield 2042 while running in DirectX 12 mode may experience color corruption on certain maps. And as is the case for all drivers, a few issues are left unresolved. Too many to list them here. We continue with EK Waterblocks, which has launched the Momentum 2 monoblock. This is a monoblock designed to work for the AMD AM5 socket and the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Hero motherboard. The complete name of this product is EK Quantum Momentum 2 ROG Crosshair X670E Hero DRGB Plexi. If that's not a long name, then I don't know what it is. Some design features of this monoblock include RGB LEDs that are compatible with the ASUS Aura Sync RGB control system and a plexi clear top so you can get to see the coolant flowing around. This monoblock completely covers the CPU and CPU socket area of the motherboard. This of course includes the VRM components of the board as well. The highlight of this monoblock is the EK Velocity 2 cooling engine alongside other features, such as a nickel plated copper cold plate and pre installed nickel plated brass screw in standoffs. The price of this monoblock is 280 US dollars. And finally, Acer, according to rumors at least, will start producing standalone consumer grade graphics cards. Only for AMD though, or at least for AMD at the beginning. This comes at a good time as EVGA just stopped making graphics cards. Even though we're talking about different manufacturers, having a new player into the market is a great thing to see, especially with the rising in prices and the lack of stocks for many new models. However, this being just a rumor, it should be taken with a grain of salt. And this is the end of the episode number 112 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.